Hello and welcome back to NorCal 715. The other day, I had to go to Harbor Freight to get some items. And if I use my 20% off coupon, I was entitled to one of these free LED lights. Now I've used it a couple times since then and it is pretty handy. I take the hook out back here, I turn it just like this, and I hang it on the collar of my shirt. And it actually does a really good job of illuminating what's in front of me. But it also has a small magnet. It looks like a neodymium magnet, but it's really not. By the sounds of it, and the way I can compress the metal, put a dent in it, it's definitely not a neodymium magnet. It's probably just a ceramic magnet with a little stainless cap over the top of it. Anyhow, this thing has a single push button switch. The first press turns on these three LEDs down in here. Second press turns everything off. Third press turns on this set of LEDs in the front. These are the most effective ones. So if I hold this upside down, you can see the brightness on the table. Now I'll turn this off and I'll turn back on this one. And as you can see, it's definitely not as bright. Maybe it's got more spot power, but as far as overall illumination, this one is definitely much, much brighter. So even with the brightness turned down, it's very hard to see the individual LEDs. I can see some shadows from them on the reflector right down here. And by the looks of things, there's about 12 LEDs on the circuit. So let's go ahead and take the three screws out of the back and we'll see what's inside this guy. So we'll just zip them out with the impact. Now it looks as if they've applied these stickers in between the two halves. So I'm just gonna take a knife and I'm gonna slice the stickers, flip it to the other side, slice the stickers on this side. All right, definitely came apart. Well, there's the back side open. You can see the three AAA batteries that are in there. They're just zinc carbon batteries. Very low quality, just enough to get it by. And look at that. They've took the time to put four more screws in here. They're really odd shaped screws. The screwdriver that I have barely engages them. We definitely got it open. Front lens, reflector. There's the circuit board. Ah, they went ahead and mashed the plastic down with a soldering iron most likely. So we'll have to just look at the circuit board and try to figure out what they're doing in here. So I see down in the end, they've got these three front LEDs all in parallel. And so according to the circuit board, it looks like they have one hot lead that goes to one of these two terminals right here. And then the other hot lead goes to this LED board. Now we have a couple of leads underneath one lead goes back here to the negative of the battery. Now I don't know if that's common all the way through here or not. So let's take an ohm meter. So we'll go on continuity and let's just see if this side is common all the way through. It would almost have to be. There's only one negative or one positive connection to the battery. And it is. There is continuity. So now it looks like they've Got a pad right here, but no one's ever soldered anything to it. It does have a plus signal on it. This one does have the minus. Let's look at the battery connection. That is the negative terminal to here, negative to here. So this would be the positive. This other red lead. And that, re that red lead does go to this terminal and then it goes through this resistor. So now this resistor looks like it's a 1.8 two ohm resistor brown red gold and so this resistor is in series with the lead that goes to the positive of this long led strip and so i see another resistor here that one looks like a 10 ohm resistor brown black black one zero with a multiplier zero so let's measure it with the ohmmeter. 10.1, that one's exactly 10 ohms. This one should be 1.2 ohms. So on a low value resistor like this, let's zero out our leads by sharing them together. So we're gonna add 0.2 ohms to whatever's on the screen. 
Here we go, I got 1.5 minus 0.2 is 1.3 ohms. Definitely within the realm of tolerance. So the 10 ohm resistor reads 10.0, so it's actually 9.8 ohms. So let's look at some voltage drops across these resistors and find out how much current that they're putting into these LEDs. Okay, so I have my voltmeter on volts at the moment. I have the LEDs turned on and we're going through this small resistor right here, the 10 ohm resistor. And so we're dropping 0.866 volts across the 10 ohm resistor. And so let's look at the battery voltage and we'll do some quick math. 4.074 volts. So what I saw across a 10 ohm resistor was 0.866 volts. The total source voltage was approximately 4.0 volts. So next, let's look at the actual LED voltage. It should be 4 volts minus 0.866, or just over 3.1 volts. Okay, so I've got the LEDs on right now. Double check the battery voltage, 4.086. So let's look across the individual LEDs. And we have 3.175 volts. So we'll add that 4.086. And based on the values that we know, we have 10 ohm resistor, we have 0.866 volts across that resistor. Our total voltage is 4.086 and after the resistor is 3.175. It may not add up exactly just because the uh, zinc carbon batteries were depleting as I was making the voltages. So I did not take a snapshot of all the voltages at the same time. But let's look and see if we can figure out a uh, 10 ohm resistor with 0.866 volts across it, how much current is flowing into those three LEDs. So I've got my Ohm's Law calculator on my Android tablet. And so what I want to figure out is how much current. So I'm going to tap current. Now do we know P, power in watts? No, we don't. Do we know E, the electromotive force? Yes, we do. Do we know P, power in watts? No, we don't. Do we know R, the resistance? Yes, we do, 10 ohms. Do we know E, electromotive force? Yes, we do. Do we know R, resistance? Yes. So let's choose that one. And this is the Ohm's Law pie chart down here. So we're trying to figure out current, which is I. We know E, we know R, so it's simply E divided by R. So I'm going to put my, resist my voltage in as 0.866. I'm going to put my resistance in as 10 ohms. I'm going to hit calculate. So that tells me, maybe hard to read in this box, but I have 0 0.0866, 86.6 milliamps. I'm going to go to calculator. We're going to go 86.6 divided by 3. And we see a, a total milliamp draw per LED of 28.8. Eight, six, or close to 29 milliamps per LED, which is the absolute maximum design specification. Those LEDs are spec at about 30 milliamps forward current. Much over that, and you're going to have problems. Let's go ahead and take a look, count the LEDs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 LEDs on this board, and now we're dropping the voltage by 1.2 ohms. So we have 1.2 ohms. And so let's go ahead and we'll measure the voltage across this 1.2 ohm resistor and the battery voltage as close to the same time as we can get it and try to make some calculations. The voltage across the resistor is 0 0.47 volts. Once again, the battery voltage at this point is 3.4 volts. So the voltage on the actual LEDs itself, 2.831 volts. Let's turn that off to save the batteries. So we'll go back to the Ohm's Law calculator. Now, we're certainly in the same boat. We know the voltage, 0.47 volts. So 0.47 volts and the resistance we know is 1.2 ohms. So we'll hit calculate. And it looks like 392 milliamps, we'll call it. So we'll go ahead and do 392 milliamps divided by 12. 
So we end up with 32.6 milliamps or about 33 milliamps per LED. So they appear to be running this device very close to the design parameters of each LED drawing 30 milliamps. So I've got 12 individual LEDs at 30 milliamps, which would be 360 milliamps total draw. I'm seeing 392, so they're running these things just a little bit above the design potential of the LEDs. But I'll tell you what, it was free. I've used it several times since then, even with the included Harbor Freight batteries, it does actually perform pretty well. Okay, well there it is, all back together. We get the three LEDs in the front running at approximately 29 milliamps. We get the 12 LEDs on the flat side running at approximately 33 milliamps apiece. This light is worth every penny that you pay for it, especially if it's free with another purchase. If you had to pay for this lamp, I would say two or three dollars would be the most you'd want to pay. I haven't looked at the Harbor Freight catalog to see what they're priced at, but I've used it several times already. Like I said, it has a magnet. It will stick to items. Metallic. Probably not the... Yes, it will stick to the screwdriver. You can lift it up. And it has the hook. Like I said, I've had the hook, the most useful item, by simply hanging it on the collar of my shirt and turning on the front set of LEDs. I could just get up there and do the work I had to do. I was up on a ladder and it worked absolutely perfect. It never flipped off and I never had any problems with it. So once again, the Harbor Freight light, there's all the warnings, two little pages of warnings. Anyhow, I appreciate your views, your comments, your support. With your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill and out of the recycle bin. You can follow me on Twitter as well as other social media sites at NorCal715. If this video has helped you, please consider making a donation to my YouTube homepage with the PayPal donate button or at paypal.me slash NorCal715. Everybody have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.